Okay, so last time I did a video on the best active beer games seated down or sitting down. So now I'm gonna do one on the one that I consider the best uh, active beer game standing up, which is Spring Vector. So I'm going to do basically, I'm just going to record my session of Spring Vector so that everyone can see, uh, everyone can see how it works basically. I think I'm just gonna do like, a, you know, two or three races and maybe I'm going to do a few of the challenges, time trials. I don't expect to get, you know, all the four stars, best ratings or anything like that right now. But I think it's good to show the challenges because that's where Spring Vector gets really tough. It's the challenges were the ones that made me sweat like crazy with this game. And uh, they are basically like, like the Astro Bot challenges, which they, the standard game, you know, it has its challenges, but it's not that difficult really. And then it has uh, like a bunch of optional challenges. And if you go there, that's where you're gonna sweat a lot with Sprint Vector. So I'm gonna show some of those. I haven't seen any video showing those. I did, you know, I did several of those where I was showing how to pass them, but I wasn't showing, you know, how I look there playing it. I was just showing how, you know, the screen that you see when uh, we do a recording from the PS4 directly and you share it. So this time it's going to be the, you know, you're going to be able to see the player playing it. So you're going to see how I play it and what it looks like and uh, and also the reason why I think it's so good. This is the one for the cardio stuff. Beat Saber is also really good, but Beat Saber, in my opinion, if you go Expert Plus, it's not good for the rest. Like if you're the kind of person that doesn't try to do it like me, I try to do it like, like sword slash, complete slash, not going like that. The people that use the wrist too much, it's prone to injury with Beat Saber's Expert Plus mode. You don't have any of that with Sprint Vector, so I think it is much safer. And because it tries to, you know, make you kind of like do sort of like inline skating and running, I think it's better, a better cardio activity in my opinion. You're gonna sweat perhaps even more with Sprint Vector. But at the beginning, you know, people get kind of scared <laughs> with Sprint Vector because it is like the motion, uh, uh, scheme it's it has kind of like a learning curve so you're gonna have to train it a little at first like a sport basically like a sport you don't begin playing the sport uh, at intermediate level you have to begin a beginner so at, at the beginning spring vector is going to feel a little challenging because of that but if you go through that curve which I recommend doing like uh, you, know, you just have to you know play the the tutorials like three or four times then go and play the races and little by little you get better at it and you get used to it and when you get to the point where you learn how to move which you're gonna be able to see here when I play right now when I do my session which I'm about to begin without further ado which I'm talking anymore uh, so yeah if you get to the point where you learn how to do the moving you're gonna enjoy it a lot and I think it is the the best uh, cardio activity in a beer game basically so far there are many choices but this one is the best one in my opinion so I'm just gonna do my session I plan to do two or three races and then I'm going to go to the time trials and I don't expect to get four stars in the time trials this time I just expect to just you know pass them not all of them because there are like nine so I probably do like three or four and I expect to be, you will be able to see because, you know, I'm going to do the whole video. I expect to be sweating by the end of all that. So that's going to be like my exercising session. Uh, kind of like an equivalent of a slow jogging session for today. Okay, let's see. Let's check the audio. Okay, so let's. This is gonna be better like this because it is 
standing. So the last one I did was sit on a chair, which is still good, but you know, this is the original way. And I think it is the ideal way because you're trying to simulate like in line skating or even running. So obviously it's better if you're standing for this. Okay, so when you see that screen, you need to try to put yourself in the center of the screen. Probably have to move that. Okay, so center of screen. I think I am in the center of screen now. Okay, yes I am there. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna hit anything around me. All the space is there, so good place to be here. Okay, so I'm doing this to begin the warm up. I don't want to begin warming up like when I begin in the first race. Okay, so now we can do it completely the right way. When it was on the chair, I didn't put my hands completely like that. I had them like a little bit like at an angle because I was sitting down. But right now we can do it completely. Okay, so the sound. standing on my mat right here so it's not on the on the floor and I don't have shoes on or you know no sandals or anything I'm just standing on the mat
something over my head. Alright, so I didn't expect to get there in first place to be honest. But it's uh it feels really hard at the beginning when you begin playing. Like when you watch this video and let's say you go play this for the first time and you're gonna go like what what did this guy do there? How, how did that happen? Is it magic? No. It's really not too difficult after you learn how to use the controls. But uh when we get to the challenges, that's when things get tough, even for me. That's when things get, get real. Let me check the... I think I didn't press the right button. But okay, I'm using the right button now. <laughs> so, I did the first race in Sprint Vector. And I'm going to continue with another one. I probably do two more races. And then I'm going to go for the challenges, which are where this thing gets real. Um, yeah, I'm, I'll probably be sweating by the end of all this, we'll see. Thank you. 
Okay, this is just to show him begin to sweat. Yeah, I think so. See my hands there, my fingers. This is just from this. Whatever, here. On the t shirt. <laughs> Which is gonna get sweaty, anyways. Okay, so that's three races, now we're going for the real deal, which is the challenges. I don't expect to do great here, like not the full four stars. If they do happen, wonderful, but this just to show, you know, how intense this gets. So my recommendation, forget about the challenges until you can, you know, like end in, in first place in the races. When you can end in first place in the races and, and you're ready to like sweat like a horse for real, Go to the challenges then, which is what I'm gonna do now. I think I'm gonna do probably the first one, maybe, yeah, maybe the second one too, first, second. Time trial only, by the way. They have like, like three modalities. The second and the third, I think, are crazier. They are, you know, I already passed all of them, but. Uh, it's not the kind of thing that you want to do in, in, a, in a video where you're showing people how to play the game. <laughs> so we're gonna do the first one, time trial, second one, time trial, and probably, I don't know if the last one, I'm not sure I can finish it every time. Maybe the, yeah, the second, yeah, probably. Probably the second one. We'll see. Yeah, I will decide when I get there. First one, second one, and I will pick whatever I think of at that point to to do the. I probably pick the. Yeah, the the one that seems really challenging in in the second set of the intermediate ones, which is not the last one, but it's pretty good. I think a lot of people are gonna get like like you know like scared of these challenges when they get to that one. They're gonna go like what? How do you even do this? So I'm gonna show you how to do that one here. All right, let's go for it. First one, second one, and the other one is a six out of nine, by the way, there are only nine. But I'm doing time trial. They have like three modalities, so it's the three modalities for all nine challenges. So I'm doing time trial only. Okay, let's go. This, this is the real deal here. This is what made me I don't know, probably lose one or two pounds because this this is really this game put to the stream. Okay, so we 
go to the challenge levels the premiere time trial okay so this is the first one supposed first one Okay, 
time trial. Challenge levels. Like precipice, precipice. Okay, let's go for it. I think that precipice is gonna scare a lot of people because it's it's when things get you know serious, very difficult. Okay, so let's do the time trial. Goes for for reference. Next map. 
No. I'm not going to stay far.
for it. Oh, Christ.
to practice. I don't know if it is visible from there, but okay, this will be visible. Yeah, it should be visible. The toms. Which is why I have this here, a towel. <laughs> a towel to clean clean sweat. Okay, so that's it. I think this is the you know, obviously it's one of my favorite VR games, one of my favorite PSVR games, which is the real reason why I can do this kind of uh, demonstration, this kind of, uh, you know, display of how to play it. Um, but as you can see, it, uh, in my opinion, is the best one for cardio. For cardio with a beer game standing up, this is my favorite one for that. Second one is probably Beat Saber, though I, I don't know, I. Beat Saber used to be my favorite, but right now not so much anymore. Maybe because uh, I just don't find Expert Plus that fun. So obviously when I got to that level, I just wasn't having fun anymore. So little by little I started to play less and less and less until I barely play it nowadays. But this, this never gets old. I probably won't play too much just because, you know, I already passed everything there. But uh, it just doesn't get old for me. It, it's fun stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's it for for my display demonstration. Actually, demonstration is a better word of uh, how to play Sprint Vector and uh, and why I, I think it's the best one uh, to sweat with uh, with a BR K 
game that is fun because there, there are other ways to sweat you can use box VR you can use creep uh, creep rise to glory you can use uh, Les Mills uh, body combat in PSVR 2 but I don't think that any of those is anywhere near as fun as Sprint Vector. The only thing with Sprint Vector is that you need to get past the learning curve at the beginning. So you need to learn how to, you know, how to use the controls, how to use the controllers for Sprint Vector, what button does what, and uh, you know how to drift and all that, how to double jump. But after you learn those things, it um, it gets a lot more fun. It gets easier. It gets dual, as you can see here. And um, and it is my number one recommendation, basically, for you know, for sweating, for you know, an active activity. You know, it's pretty crazy to think that uh, this has come that this far, really. Like when I was a kid, I would have never thought that I was going to actually be sweating this much. You know, like jogging, basically. I'm sweating as much as if I was jogging with a video game, but. You know, it is. It is a reality. So Spring Vector is the one that does it. Unfortunately, they haven't done a part two. <laughs> I, I would definitely want to get my hands on that. And, um, but yeah, it's good enough that they already did one. And that's it. Hope you can learn something from this video. If you're a new player, obviously, this will be a good video to watch. Another tip, what I'm using on the floor is one of those... Uh, you know, one of those mats that they use like in the uh, martial arts centers that they have these kind of softer mats on the floor so I have like nine of those, only nine and I put them here like on the floor so I'm, you know, standing on the mat without shoes it's just a lot more comfortable like that much more enjoyable uh, yeah, I highly recommend that for all beer games, not just for this it's, it just makes it more, uh, you know, comfortable, I guess. Alright, that's it for this video.